Hi, I'm James Baxter, um, the uh, head of character animation on Crudes, and today I'm going to show you how to draw the character of Belt. Now, Belt is a sloth who lives on Guy's waist for most of the movie, and uh, he's a really cute character to draw. And what's tricky about him is his arms are so crazy long compared to his body that you can't really draw him just standing there. So I'm going to draw him hanging from a tree. So he's got these really long arms, which I'm going to draw hanging off the tree there. And then I'm going to draw his body down here and his head right here. And his little feet are going to be resting on the trunk of the tree right here. And his head's going to be here looking at you. So let's draw his big eyes. Now his eyes are pretty big and wide apart. They've got a lot of space in between them. So I'm going to draw his eyes. I'm going to draw him kind of looking at you. And then uh, Belt's nose is pretty small and actually rests sort of right way, you know, on the same line that his eyes are on. And then uh, I'm going to give him, he's got a little mouth, so I'm going to give him a little smile underneath there. So let's start with uh, Belt's face. Let's get those eyes in a little bit better because the eyes are the most important part with great big pupils. And I'm going to give him a nice big highlight on his pupil. In fact, let's go in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. And then his other eyeball is going to go over here. And remember, you're drawing a, a circular shape that's sitting on a ball, like his head is a ball. So this eyeball is not going to be really round like this one. It's going to be a little bit more squashed. So then Belt's nose is like this kind of little squished button shape in the middle with a couple of little nostrils in it like that. And then imagine this, is this little sort of round muzzle that sits in the middle there. And at the bottom of that round muzzle would be his little mouth, like that. So I'm going to draw him with his mouth open a little bit. Belt has almost no chin, so it's like his mouth, when it opens, goes sort of back the way. And then the fun thing about Belt's face is this sort of pattern that he has on his face, where it's made of teardrops. So he's got this pattern of his nose and mouth sit inside one teardrop shape, like that. And his eyes fit inside these other teardrop shapes, which kind of are upside down. So then uh, Belt has sort of hair as well. And it's kind of scruffy rock star hair, which comes off of his uh, forehead right there and it goes back the way. That. And his head is very, very round although a little bit wider than it is tall. And then he has actually a rather non-existent neck. <laughs> his neck just sort of flows freely straight into his body. So his head line just sort of flows gracefully into the line of his body. And I'm going to draw his, his back sitting down there. And then his furry front. So his head is really not that much bigger than his body is completely anyway. So let's just uh, zoom out a little bit and draw these arms. So the arms are very long. And I'm going to draw the branch, I think, maybe a little higher still. So this arm is going to come from here. And they're long and tube-like. And sometimes you want to just indicate a little bit of where the elbow is. But they're very sort of just like big furry tubes. So the other arm, he's got these little sloth claws which bend over. Let's get up here so you can see them. So they're not too sharp, so don't draw them like they're needle sharp. But they're very curved, and they, they bend over, and they tend to sort of come together. And then I've got to imagine that this came curving over there, and his arm comes down here. So that's where I'm going to pick it up, right there, and pretend I can see his other shoulder back in there. So draw this other furry arm sitting right there, like that. Uh, then his uh, chest is uh, a little bit of a different color you know, than the rest of him. And then he's got these tiny, tiny little furry legs. 
little stumpy furry legs. And you only really see the claws of his feet. You don't get to see the finger part. You just kind of see the claws poking out from underneath the fur. And the fur sits there like that, make it nice and furry. So that's the basic plan uh, for sloth. Now we can just go in there and concentrate and neaten this up a little bit. Cool. And there he is. There's Belt the Sloth.